as dedicated as we are to burnouts, it seems kind of ridiculous that we've never actually entered a burnout contest. And so that's what this episode is all about. We found a place down in South Padre Island, Texas, that's gonna have a car show with a burnout competition. And so I started shopping around for cars and we're here in Houston right now. And I found this 76 Camaro that's exactly like Finnegan's very first car, which is gonna make this great. Problem is, I was really concerned about, you know, to win this burnout contest, we probably gotta blow some tires off the rim. And that can like tear the quarter panel off the car. And so I needed to find something where no one would care. And man, did I win. <laughs> you still can't say that I got you something nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, look how much rust is in this. First car flashbacks for you. This is the exact same year car I had. It's a 76, right? I know, yep, 76 Camaro. Wow. You're gonna be 17 again, because the whole goal is burnouts and donuts. That's all I did in that car. That's all it was good for. Then you it, know what you're doing. It wasn't fast. It didn't handle well. All it does is good burnout, so why not? Wow. But look at the rust. Is this the rustiest thing we've ever had on Roadkill? It's gotta be. This is gonna be our burnout practice pad. See, at the car show, the burnout contest, sorry Australians, this is the lame American version. It's not for distance, it's not for donuts, it's standing still in one place for one minute. Now the trick to this is gonna be trying to get the tires to blow up in one minute. I think that's gonna be the key to winning. And so we need to practice here. I think we're gonna do burnouts in one minute increments to see what it takes to actually make these tires blow. We got these tires, and then I have two other sets. I'll time you. You'll time me. Yeah, so go, and every 60 seconds we'll stop. Measure, you know, Dude. Abe Lincoln. That's the proper way. You have a penny? I can't believe he came armed with a penny. That's like National Highway Traffic and Safety Administration approved penny method to measure tread depth. <sighs> this is where all the science happens. Abe Lincoln, this is a penny. We're gonna turn Abe upside down. We're gonna put Abe in our tire. Right now, our tread is this deep, which is just about Abe's eyes. Freiberger is going to do a burnout for 60 seconds. If the tires don't pop, we'll put the penny back in and see where the tread meets. And then we'll do it again until they pop, and then we'll know how much Lincoln do we need to go into this contest to assure us that these things will pop in 60 seconds or less. Okay, here's the other thing. At the show, they're gonna give us wheel chalk so the thing doesn't roll, and maybe that'll help us not have to do as much of a brake stand and not drag the rear brakes as much. These are plastic, cheapy chocks. Burnout action. Check. Copy you. Are you ready? Ready. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> tread left. <laughs> you made slicks, dude. Wow. I can't even put Abe Lincoln's face on that. I was pretty happy I was able to snap it and get it going faster than you did with less brake because of the wheel chalk. Oh yeah, wheel chalks are key. Those only maybe make it through one more burnout. Three, two, one, burn em. I think the tire's gone on that side. Scientifically proven. It didn't blow and pop. I think it just uh, kicked, tre oh yeah, that kicked tread. Oh, it's still holding air. I know, that's the problem. That's not a win. Nope. I mean, you don't get near it, but look at that. It didn't blow. 
I don't think that tire's gonna last more than 15 seconds. At this time, go until we blow. Here we go. Three, two, one, hit it. He's good. Once we got here, we found out they're cutting these burnouts to 30 seconds, not 60. We still got this. All righty, on the count of three, let's see them light it up. One, two, three. It may have died. <laughs> We're out of gas, dude. Hey, bro, instead of the glitter, you should have brought gas, bro. Just saying. Well, that's a fun way to lose a burnout contest. We ran out of gas. However, <laughs> the very cool guys here at the show are going to let us do it again. They are going to let us go until it blows. That seems safe. You want to drive? <laughs> South Padre Island, are you ready? Give it up one more time for my friends from Roadkill. I think we forgot to hook up the electric fan. I think a lot of bad things are about to happen, and I'm okay with it. Oh my god, it's still going. It's like a tornado of rubber. <laughs> I can't believe it went that long. That was nuts. Look at his beard. Thank you. Thank you, bro. Wow. It's not totally dead, dude. It's got air oh, in it. Oh, wow. Look at that. <laughs> it still has air in it. Nice work. That was the longest roadkill burnout ever. That's a record right there. We've never done that before. We made Back to the Future burnouts. <laughs> I'm going to get to finish the job. <laughs> I thought I did the whole damn thing. I thought I blew up tires. I didn't. I just ripped all the tread off this one and now the air is struggling to get out. So Dave's in the car, they're pushing it away from the rubber that's on fire. He's gonna fire up the engine and finish what I started, popping these tires for real. Yeah! It's the car that won't die. Apparently it's the tires that won't die either. Oh, dude. <laughs> The engine is seizing. When it blew the tire off, look, it whipped all the way up here and ripped this trim off the car. All right, we got glitter, we got tire shrapnel, we got blown up 350, but I think it'll recover, it'll heal. 
It's been pretty awesome. We certainly blew the hell out of that tire. Wow.